In just nine days, some of the nation's biggest artists will take to the stage for Bourbon and Beyond. More than a handful of them are Kentuckiana natives. Jim got to sit down with one of those performers, and Jim, uh, the star power has just continued to rise since his last appearance. That's right. Michael Cleveland last played Bourbon and Beyond back in 2019, and he told me at the time that he was scheduled to play both Saturday and Sunday shows, but there was a torrential rain on Sunday, and everything got rained out that day. Still. That experience really resonated with Michael and he was able to let he wants to be able to let people this go around experience bluegrass his way. The music of Kentucky coming to the biggest stage in Louisville. I like playing bluegrass and my music for people who've never heard it before and people who might not necessarily know a whole lot about bluegrass music. For Michael Cleveland, there's nothing better. Playing bluegrass at a big rock festival, that's, that's kind of a dream come true for me. Cleveland grew up in Henryville, Indiana, where music didn't run in the family, but a love for bluegrass was strong. Whenever my grandparents weren't doing a bluegrass show, they were going to the other shows. And from the time I was six months old, they just started taking me along. I started playing the fiddle when I was four years old. First time I heard a fiddle player play Orange Blossom Special, that was when I realized that, that I wanted to play. And I don't really remember much about being four years old, but I remember that. I remember hearing the fiddle player play Orange Blossom, and that was it. <laughs> love but love doesn't come without obstacles how blind are you i mean because i know blind as a bat son blind as a bat you can't see no gotcha. i got i could see light and uh some shadows gotcha. you know, teachers might say to practice in a dark room or not look at your not look at your hand or your instrument and get getting used to what it feels like to be in the right position and you know to develop that muscle memory. And so I think uh, in that regard, I probably have an advantage. That passion and hard work has led Michael to some of the grandest stages in America. But for Michael, the Bourbon and Beyond stage, well, that's a whole nother level. Man, I'm just looking forward to, to uh, taking it all in. I, I'm joking, but not joking. I usually say we have to drive about 12 hours in order to play a show somewhere, so this will be good. It's pretty much an adrenaline rush. That's all I can say, you know, when the music's good and the crowd's really into what you're doing, and they send that energy back to you. It, it's uh, it's an adrenaline rush like no other. This year, Bourbon and Beyond, Michael says he and his band Flame Keeper are ready to show the audience what bluegrass means to him. Now, Michael is set to take the stage at Bourbon and Beyond next Thursday, and the big hope this year, no rain. <laughs> a lot of people's no. big hope this year, yes. absolutely, to have good weather for Bourbon and Beyond. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the way he talked about how he just would not have ever thought that he'd be on stage at a rock festival. But if you think about the benefit of streaming music now, it's no longer back in the day where you had to buy yes. a CD and you didn't want to buy a CD unless it was music that you knew you liked because it was expensive. Now people's musical tastes are all over the map so and it benefits artists like that. And one of the very interesting things that he told me is when he goes to play festivals like this, he'll have somebody come up who maybe is a punk rock artist and they'll come up and say, I've never listened to bluegrass any, uh, before, but I saw what you two did mm -hmm. and you absolutely killed it. I'm mm -hmm. a fan now. Yeah. That's so cool to him. I that's, love that. That's fantastic. I love